Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa congratulated the Bahraini citizens and the expatriate community on the advent of Eid Al Adha, wishing them many happy returns and abundant health and wellness. Marking the occasion, His Majesty the King expressed congratulations, thanks, and appreciation to the National Task Force led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their impressive results and success in handling the coronavirus pandemic and containing its repercussions. He praised the sacrifices and dedicated efforts of the frontline heroes, including the medical and nursing staff. The security bodies affiliated with the National Task Force are also setting the most wonderful examples in sacrifice, hum humaneness, loyalty and patriotism by showing utmost keenness on people's health and safety. His Majesty the King assured citizens that the health situation is assuring as the pandemic is steadily abating and the number of people recovering is increasing. He commended collective cooperation and the efforts of the National Task Force in dealing with the global pandemic uh, competently responsibly responsibly and professionally, stressing support to the task force to ensure success of its national duties in curbing the pandemic. He also thanked the Bahraini citizens and the expatriate community for their high awareness and cooperation by adhering to the uh, primitive measures. He all, preemptive measures. He also urged all the continuing complying with the precautionary procedures to overcome the crisis. His Majesty the King affirmed uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain's capabilities to overcome crises and challenges thanks to synergized efforts and national competencies. He added that the kingdom is moving towards the future with determination and confidence to protect achievements and promote its development march for the uh, posterity. He also underlined Bahrain's solidarity with the rest of the world within the framework of fostering human brotherhood as a way to face the global challenge and weather its repercussions. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the advent of Eid Al Adha, wishing him continued health and happiness, and for Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed pride in the wise leadership of His Majesty the King, praising the progress and development Bahrain is witnessing, praying to Allah to lift uh, this pandemic from humanity and bestow upon the health and happiness on all. His Majesty the King sent a, a reply cable to His Royal Highness wishing him abundant health and happiness and many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the advent of Eid Al Adha, wishing him continued health and happiness, and for Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed pride in the wise leadership of His Majesty the King, praising the uh, progress and development Bahrain is witnessing, praying to Allah to lift uh, this pandemic from humanity and bestow upon them health and happiness. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable to His Royal Highness wishing him abundant health and happiness and many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged telephone calls of good wishes with their Majesty's Highnesses, the leaders of the Gulf Arab and Islamic nations, on the advent of Eid Al Adha. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the Jordanian monarch King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein. His Majesty also received a telephone call from the President of Egypt Abdel Fattah Al Sisi. He also received a telephone call from His Majesty Haji Hassan Al Bolkhiar, or Bolkhiar, the Sultan of Brunei Dar es Salaam. He also received a call from from the Vice President and Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates and the ruler of the Emirate of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Majesty also received a telephone call from the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty received a phone call from the Deputy Emir and Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. During these calls, they exchanged Eid Al Adha good wishes for the countries and people, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns and more growth. And prosperity. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, exchanged greetings with their Majesty's Highnesses, the leaders of the Gulf Arab and Islamic nations, on the advent of Eid Al Adha. His Royal Highness expressed Eid Al Adha good wishes for the countries and people, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns and more growth and prosperity. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the advent of Eid al-Adha, wishing him continued health and happiness and for Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the progress and development Bahrain is witnessing, praying to Allah to lift the pandemic from humanity and bestow upon them health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a cable uh, to a reply cable to his his Royal Highness the Crown Prince, wishing him abundant health and happiness and many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged greetings with their Majesty's Highnesses, the leaders of the Gulf Arab and Islamic nations on the advent of Eid al-Adha. His Royal Highness expressed Eid al-Adha good wishes for the countries and people as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns and more growth and prosperity. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, Board of Trustees, Chairman of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued directives to the Coordination and Follow-up Committee of the Fina Khir campaign to, to support convicts with unpaid fines who are facing financial problems. The support will be provided as part of the project in cooperation with the Interior Ministry and the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments. His Highness made a statement in this regard in which he said, that this directive is intended to support indebted citizens as per the Ministry of Interior's lists. He expressed thanks and appreciation for the humanitarian initiative of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa along with the efforts of the government headed by His Royal Highness said the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the national efforts of Team Bahrain led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness said that these efforts have been met with appreciation and cooperation by the citizens as part of the national efforts to combat the outbreak of the pandemic along with the success of the Fina Khair program which has brought happiness among citizens during the Eid occasion. For his part, the Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation and the Chairman of the Committee to Dispense the Aid of Fina Khair, Mustafa Sayyid, said the, that His Highness Directives reflects the great humanitarian role that he plays through his keenness on assisting those in need, especially in light of the outbreak of the pandemic, which are intended to allow citizens to enjoy the Eid festivities with their families in peace and security. The Representatives Council Speaker Fawzi bin Abdullah Zainal expressed congratulations to His Majesty the King, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, on uh, the advent of Eid al Adha, praising the outstanding civilizational achievements in light of the comprehensive development process. She expressed deep appreciation and gratitude for His Majesty the King's sincere congratulations to the citizens and residents on this happy occasion, praising his uh, constant concern, interest, and royal guidance in supporting and developing all services for the country and citizens. She also noted that the praise received by the Bahrain national team led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and from His Majesty the King affirms his constant support and is considered an honor and a motivation to continue exerting all possible efforts to combat this pandemic. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh Saleh, expressed congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the advent of the Eid Al Adha, wishing him many happy returns, health, and happiness. He also congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the occasion, wishing him many happy returns and praying to Allah to bestow upon him health and happiness. Al Saleh congratulated His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion, wishing him many returns as well as health and happiness. He expressed congratulations to Bahrain and its citizens wishing them safety and stability as well as the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns and more growth and prosperity. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,247 with 389 recoveries, 390 registered new cases and three deaths. The Ministry of Health expresses condolences to the families of the deceased, urged everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions such as washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact. Moreover, covering the nose and the mouth when sneezing and avoiding public spaces when possible.